We're ready. ready. Okay. Um, I'm Stacy, and this is Pat. And uh, the name of our boat is Quest. Um, we're reading this. So. What type of yacht is she? What does she have to offer? Well, she's a Alex Simonis designed 57 foot catamaran. She was built in the mid 90s. Uh, true sailing boat, one of the catamarans out here that uh, loves the wind. She sails well. Uh, she's very spacious. High bows uh, give her a real nice entry and uh, keep her quiet underway. She's well insulated uh, and well ventilated. So at anchor, uh, there's great breezes that, that come through the boat. Uh, the fact that she's insulated so well at night when we do use the air conditioning, she gets mighty cold in here quick. Refrigeration and, and... He's a talker. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to say that. Okay. All right, we can cut things out. <laughs> uh, the refrigeration is such that it requires very little generator operation. So the boat is quiet and uh, you can enjoy true sailing uh, without the engines running and without a generator going and all that things that people like to leave behind uh, on the vacation. We have sailed on other catamarans and we're less than pleased with, with the performance of them. And we understand why some catamarans say, well, it's not a good day for sailing. On Quest, pretty near every day is a good day for sailing. Uh, what's the next question? Okay, next question is, why did you join this yacht? We were working on a 44-foot um, lagoon and uh, we had a lot of friends call us and say that um, they were looking for a crew on this one and uh, would we be interested. We have always admired this boat. Um, it's it a is real a, simple decision. Right. And it, it is a boat that um, you go into any harbor and people come up and say, what a beautiful yacht. What a beautiful yacht. And you know, we have always admired, um, you know, we're old sailors and so we have always admired the, you know, the classic boat um, more than the Clorox bottles. Hi, yeah. how are you? are going to make a lot of friends calling the I know, boat's glory. I know, I know. Maybe we shouldn't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we should. <laughs> I thought maybe good at video. Uh, my yachting background started mm -hmm. when I was 17. So it's more than 10 years ago. Uh, I was in the Coast Guard from the age of 17 until 21. Did search and rescue work. Uh, I instructed the police departments and the Marine Safety Patrol on motorboat safety and motorboat inspection. Uh, but I was up on the Great Lakes and I realized at a very young age that if you're going to be a sailor, you don't need to stay on the Great Lakes. So as soon as I was discharged honorably from the Coast Guard, I left and pursued a yachting career. I did deliveries, private yacht captaining, uh, I managed charter companies. We had our own day sale business in St. Thomas for about 15 years. Uh, we took a short break to do bed and breakfast in Dominica, which we absolutely loved. But every day we missed the sea. So after five years in Dominica, we decided uh, to come back to the, the real Caribbean. And that, of course, is the Virgin Islands. We're glad we did. We enjoy, uh, just enjoy being back at sea. One of the questions here is, what's our most memorable charter? And we've had many memorable charters, but I think the, the best charter is probably going to be our next one. Because we look, we look forward to meeting new people. It's always a new experience. And our guests are what keep us fresh in the Caribbean. Uh, there's no burnout factor. When, when the people you meet are exciting people, they have their own stories to tell, they have their own idea of what the Caribbean is like or should be like. Uh, and, you know, we get the oohs and ahs and oh my gods every day. And that keeps us fresh. You know, to show somebody this part of the Caribbean and to be able to take them on a different reef twice a day, you know, maybe one dive and one snorkel, uh, and just ex explain and show them uh, what the Virgin Islands is like, it's a treat for us. And the fact that they're so impressed with it is uh, is rewarding. Um, everybody knows he's in the best paying jobs in the world. So you got to, you know, 
got to live for the now, and that's what we're doing in Quest, trying to share our, our Caribbean experience. Okay, next question. Um, One of them. Okay, what makes us different from all yachts? Mm -hmm. And you, you pretty much just said that. Uh, one thing that we do stress when we have guests on board is um, looking at what's around us and spending the day um, looking at the things in the ocean and looking at the stars at night and telling stories around the table. You know, Pat is a great storyteller. He can tell you um, great truths and great untruths. I have, you never I have know, one story. You never, know, <laughs> you never know which one he's telling you. Um, those are the things that make memories, and those are the things that our guests go home with and will remember the rest of their lives. We have pages and pages um, from of, of guest reviews, you know, where people, our guests have written about how it is the best trip of their life. And, um, changed their life. Changed Somebody their actually life. wrote in our guest log, we <laughs> changed their life. And uh, what a hoot that is, yeah. to be able to interact with other people and change the way they think, or change the way they, they feel about the Caribbean. Or about sailing in general. Uh, one of our mottos is that people only get so many off days per year, whether it's vacation day or whatever. And when they come on on a boat, every day has to be special for them. And one of the things we like to do is at the very end of the trip, we say, "What was your favorite thing?" And what's rewarding to us is if they don't know. Well, we like the bass. No, 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 it was the snorkel we did in Anagata. No, it was the turtles over at Canil Bay. No, no, it was that nice downwind sail we took in late afternoon. And that, that's what these trips are about, is the different ways to enjoy the Caribbean. And if we can impart that on our guests, uh, we've done our job. Whereas if, if they say, oh, we went to Foxy's and got drunk and then we watched the movie, that's not what Quest is about. We enjoy the interaction, we enjoy the, uh, the learning about our guests and having our guests know us at the end of the trip. And we're looking forward to having very many repeat customers uh, on this boat. So. Um, and you talked about your yachting background. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my culinary background is um, I grew up in New Mexico and I spent as a little girl many, many, many hours in the kitchen with. Um, various people learning how to roll tortillas <laughs> and do Mexican food. Um, I went to a culinary school in France, in the southern part of France, and I graduated there. Um, traveled all through Central Europe on a self-study, studying the different cuisines. I, um, in Dominica, I became known as one of the top chefs in Dominica. Um, and I really emphasize uh, using non-preservative foods very, very fresh ingredients, and taking simple foods and, and getting the most flavor out of them as you possibly can. Um, she married I don't, a picky eater, too. Yeah, yeah, I did. But I don't uh, do a lot of fluff, you know, um, spending, I don't spend a lot of time making it just absolutely beautiful um, on the plate, but it tastes fabulous. You know, it's more of a family-style meal that I plan. Um, we do most of our own breads. We do. Yeah, yeah we do. <laughs> like I have anything um, to do with it. Yeah, I do everything from scratch for the most part. If I, you know, if I'm not, not diving a lot, um, from the breads that I make, I do those on the Biscuits barbecue the grill. Um, you know, muffins and that type of stuff. You make um, our own ice cream, our own candies. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have see. a lot to do with that. Though. What did you do before the yacht? We had that bed and breakfast in Dominica. We had that for five years. We became number one on TripAdvisor, um, and we built it all from scratch. That was quite an accomplishment, you know, in a third world country to be able to do that. Uh, we're very familiar with customer service and, and how to, you know, how to make people happy and, and um, you know, pay attention to their needs and, and, um, wants. and wants. Yeah. Um, let's see. But, why would uh, a guest, or why should a guest pick our boat to charter? Because we wanted to. Because we wanted to show them what the Caribbean is really like. There's a, as you know, a lot of new crews out here and people who are well experienced and kind of burned out. And there are other people who are not experienced and have all the enthusiasm but don't have the knowledge. And I think between Stacy and I, we have a good combination of knowledge, experience, and enthusiasm. Uh, enthusiasm. Stacy's enthusiasm is a dive, 
master and mine as a snorkel leader. Uh, you know, we've studied a long time on, on the, the habits of the fish. We know the fish, we know how they react, we know who mimics who and, and which are the carnivores and, and where we're going to see the tarpon and where we're going to see the minnows. And, uh, I, we love I just, what we do. <laughs> we love what we do and we I think we have we a lot to offer in the quest. Yeah. Is that it? I think so. Cool.